This is Morris Minor Restoration Part <laughs> 6. I've made the piece right. It was not the dog! <laughs> anyway, I've made the piece, and it's very, very nice. Uh, it's threaded and everything, and it's in the hole. And I have to push the piston out using the hydraulic pump with hydraulic oil. I think I may have to replace this inside of it, though. Okay, so I'm going to use this hydraulic pump to push this piston out because I can't figure out how to get it out any other way because it's stuck, it's seized, and the piston's only like a half an inch long so you can't get it out with the screwdriver easily. That's why I made my adapter so I can hook uh, this, to this to the cylinder right here so I can push it out and hopefully get my car's brakes to work. I don't want to cross thread it. <laughs> That's tight. You have a circular wrench. Okay, so just this just happened. Taking the oil and the thing, it snapped off. Oh, it's going. Oh, it does have oil. Down here. Oh, there it goes. It's out. It's out. There you go. Hey, look at that. Oh wow, That's fairly That's large. Weird looking. Looks How like is that a, possible? Looks like an animal giving birth. How is that possible? Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. I don't know, everything with this car is That's wacky. It. That's it. That's what you needed to do. Okay, so this is the part I made for it. This is a standard pipe thread, one quarter inch NPT. This is custom, this is three eighths, twenty threads per inch. And it fits in this, which I believe had a banjo fitting in it before. And it pumps hydraulic fluid in through a small hole that goes through. That's how that works. And it did work. Here's the strangest brake cylinder ever. And if you need a drawing of that, here's a crude drawing right here. Again, sorry about the night time. I'm going to show you the thing I fitted to the car that I actually found in the trunk. I'm, I'm filming all these videos at like 10 o'clock at night, which is weird. Okay, so going into the garage, that has my Morris 1000 Miner in it. Let's open the door. There is my baby. Okay, so I want to show you the thing that I fitted today. It took me forever to find. Let me just sit in this brand new seat I fitted in. I think in part five. Here it is. It's the tumbler for the ignition. Of course it doesn't work at all. I put the key in and when it's in I flick this uh, switch under the dash. But it's fine. It works for now. I mean, I'm, I bought, the only reason I put this in is because I bought something and it's coming for it and it needs the key in order to work properly. And it is Morris related. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, and that was part six of my Morris Minor Restoration series. Um, but I got something for you to do with your viewers of this video. I want you to go down in the comments section and tell me exactly if the brakes of the Morris Miners are bad brakes. They don't stop at all, but because this thing doesn't stop right now. The brakes are not connected. But I want you Morris Miner people in the uh, comments section because... I'm sure most of, you, most of you viewers have Morris Miners yourselves. I want you to tell me if the brakes are okay on them. If they stop, okay. Or if they stop really nice, or if they stop barely. But I think, they, I think they'll stop okay. I love this little car. So, thanks for watching.